Nearly two years after a deadly officer involved shooting near Lubbock's airport, the family of 31 year old Jasmine Washington is suing the city and others. The city, the county and officers are facing a legal battle for alleged constitutional violations after the deadly 2020 shooting. In April 2020, Washington was killed after leading police on police on two car chases. Both police and DPS troopers say he carjacked a woman after the first chase ended, which led to a second chase. We have received video of the shooting. Authorities said Washington refused to stop injuring a trooper, and that's when they opened fire. An officer also received minor injuries during all of this. KMAX Ryan Chandler has a look at the lawsuit and how the family is hoping to change police policy. He's trying to ram him off. He's trying to ram him off. Shots fired. Shots fired. Litigation claiming the city of Lubbock, the county sheriff's office, and five officers violated a man's constitutional rights. Jasmine Washington killed after a chase ending near the airport with more than 20 shots fired from close range. 105, we're going to need EMS for this location. His family now calling the shots unwarranted, violating his Fourth Amendment protections against excessive force. Right before Mr. Washington is shot by over 20 bullets, he was effectively contained. The chase was over. In all intents and purposes, he was defenseless. In findings from LPD's shooting review board obtained by KMAC News, they found no policy violations, writing Mr. Washington's actions presented an immediate risk of death or serious bodily injury. But attorneys claim this chaotic scene stemmed from outdated policies and a lack of coordination between agencies. These officers did not know how to work together and they did not know how to react to the situation. LPD's internal review writing, had the vehicle containment been more successful, Mr. Washington may not have had the opportunity to move his vehicle. The training given to LPD officers was not adhered to by all the officers from outside agencies, recommending that from now on, there should be a standard operating procedure in place for all officers, as long as LPD continues their interagency task forces. Mr. Washington's family now not only pursuing damages for his death, but hoping to forge policy improvements for the future. If there had been steps taken by these law enforcement entities to approach a situation, then we might not be sitting here today. Ryan Chandler, KMAC News.